Hello everybody, I'm Welsh Delinquent MJ, and uh, yeah, uh, we're back with another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing this intro, because I fucked it up the first time. But let's just see what we got now. Uh, we got a character, we got a camera, and we got trees. Um, and we got movement, but we don't have collision with trees or anything at the moment. Uh, I added the trees in my spare time, and I'll show you how I did that now. Right, so I got the treetop, that's the treetop, very, very basic. Um, got the trunk that goes with the tree and then when you put them together you you just saw what they look like so yeah the reason I've done them separately is because the, we want to be able to hit the tree trunk but not the leaves we want to be able to walk behind the leaves but not uh, fucking thing <coughs> I saw good English uh, yeah, we don't want to be walk be able to walk through the trunk at all, and the treetop we don't want to be walking through the center of it. So let me just uh, change that now. Uh, to draw the center collision box, we just uh, manual. That would help. I uh, I think the top of it should stop at there, and then we just draw the box that we want. That's just very basic at the moment, and now. Uh, because I've changed that, and I actually don't want to collide with the center of the tree, I'm going to select uh, parent to be, I'm going to set that to be power wall as well. Power wall is something that you create, all you need to do it, name it power wall. Uh, if you want to capitalize it, capitalize it. I wanted to, but completely forgot to. And yeah, so right, so the reason, right, okay, create no trees at the moment. That's what they look like in the room. And that's all they will look like. Just two fucking trunks. And the reason for that is, all we're doing is placing the trunks in the room. And then in the create vent of the trunk, we're creating the top. Because um, we want two different collision areas for them, if that makes sense. Because we don't want to be able to touch the trunk, go through the trunk at all. But we do want to go through some parts of the leaves. So, therefore, this is what we need. Um... Yeah, so now we've set up our trees, we set up the collision for our trees using power wall. We need to go into the player, go into step event. Uh, this is where we do... Oh, shit. No, no, fuck off. What? Yeah, yeah, go like that. Again. This is where everything for our player will go. <laughs> just in here. And now we want to set... Oh, wait, I just want to get my uh, cheat sheet up. Boom. Boom. Ah. Uh. God damn, why is it all tabbed in? Should not be tabbed in. No sorry, Bob. And then we just uh, go like that. Wait, right, there we go. That should work. <laughs> that should stop us colliding with uh, walls and shit. <laughs> I don't for the life of me know what's going on here. I did not write this. Um, I, all I know is how it works. So if I just like get paint up, if he'll fucking load paint, awesome. If, we, if I get paint up here, uh, get a little square. That's uh, that's the square. That's the floor. Um, if we just grab a little square over here, go like, uh, okay. He's uh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to touch the floor. Okay, so let's just highlight him properly and only him. Right, say now you're falling or you're walking towards the floor. The like this is imagine this little black line here is uh, a wall or a tree that you can't walk through. So imagine you walk in down and you go in like um is there a way to get like grid lines? Yeah. Say now you go in um five pixels per set uh per fucking per frame. Because, you know, I think that's what our character moves at. So, you're walking down, and then you get to this point, where there's four between you and the wall. Whereas normally, you'd get stuck in the wall. You'd be like, ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck in the wall now. This, it checks five in front of you all the time, and then it goes, okay, well, we can't go five, but can we go one? Yeah, we can. Can we go another one? Yeah. Can we go another one again? Yes. How about another one? Yeah, but I can't go another one for the fifth time, which is why I couldn't go five, 
so I've just gone four instead and then make sure that you are perfectly on the collision line but you don't intersect so it doesn't affect how you move and shit like that which is awesome so yeah that's uh that's it <laughs> And that's how we do that. So now, if we ever click play, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Um. Uh. Ooh, yeah. See, that's that's a problem I had because I changed power wall from a lower case to an upper case. I knew there was a reason I did it lower fucking case. It's because power wall lower case doesn't exist. So I gotta change that now to upper case for fucking times. Yep. There we go. Make sure that you are, you know, uh, calling stuff correctly. Otherwise, it'll fuck up like it just did with me, and we don't want that, do we? No. Right, so hopefully now, if I go to try and walk through this tree, I can't. If I try and walk through the base, I can't. I can only walk above, around, and yeah, all our goodness. And I can even go through them. Oh, fuck. I can go through them upwards, but not downwards. Oh, shit. Um, because of this. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't exactly know what's going on upwards. That it's um, letting me walk up through them. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. Uh, ooh, let, me, let me take a look at this. Let me, let me just... Um, hmm. If I uh, copy that, go like that, minus, whisper, minus sign, plus equal sign, yeah, that should be fine. Alright, let's see if this works. I don't actually know if that'll work. Like I said, I didn't write this code, I don't exactly know how it works. Uh, no, it, uh, it didn't work, and uh, my game has crashed. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's mu let's make every plus a minus. Yeah, let's try it like that. Fuck off, like that. Right, so upwards still works, but down doesn't. Hmm, fucking wonder why that is. That's strange, you know. Hmm, we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, it, it, if I find a solution, it will most likely be at the end of this video. Or I'll just, like, comment over. Like, I'll put, like, a little white text here saying what I fucked up on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's essentially collision code. It should normally work. But for some reason, it's not working upwards, but it's working in every other direction but we can live with that because what what I needed to do anyway is I wanted to set the player to depth um, minus one uh, the tree trunk to minus two and the tree top can stay at zero uh, the reason I'm doing that is so that the the tree top the leaves will be on top of the player the tree trunk will always be below the player, and the player then, well, is in the middle. Oh, wait, did I do it the other way around? Did I do it the wrong way around? I did. Shit. Okay, tree trunk should be zero. <laughs> tree top should be minus two, I think. I don't actually know how the depth works. It's either the, the lower the number, the, the closer to the surface is. Yeah, it is. We just walk straight through a tree. But yeah. So now, in this little game of ours, we have trees that we can walk behind. Or walk in front of. And um, if... Uh, ooh, shit, 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 shit. Go like that. Say now I didn't want... Uh, left, right. Yeah, this is the one. <coughs> ooh, fuck me. So anyway, I wanna, uh, yeah, I, I want precision checking, but say now I only wanted the feet to go through. I just uh, manual, go like that, 
Well, I don't need the feet. And now, I think the only the mask, so the the feet can't walk through it, whereas the head can. And like our player's head. Ah, shit! I'm stuck in a tree again. That's gonna get annoying until I fix that. Yeah, so player now can get lost in the trees, but continue walking. But as soon as her feet hit the tree, she's stuck. Yeah. So yeah, that's um. That's trees. Or walls. You can apply the same methods. Two walls. And I just realized that that's a bit tall. I only wanted it like... Uh, yeah, about there. But all the way down to the base. But like that. So then it, it shows that the trunk isn't just the trunk. It also goes up through the tree a little bit. That's why I'm doing it like that. In case you were wondering. Right. So let's make sure that uh, it looks alright. Still works okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, whilst working, uh, going down and up, the player is still, well, going up, it doesn't fucking work. But going down, the player's mask is still the entire body, not just the feet. So, yeah. And while standing still, it's the entire body, not just the feet. Which is good, but it's also bad because we, we 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 want the entire body to be the collision mask and I'll, I'll tell you why the entire body if only the feet are the collision mask when enemies are trying to attack the player they won't hit the player unless it hits the feet which we don't want so i'm going to go back here and i'm just going to go automatic and just uh because i forgot to do it earlier Got to do it now. Oh, did it for that one. Not for this one. And not for that one. So I did it for one of the six. Awesome. Tell me I'm good at looking towards the future. Right, but anyway, let's move on to the camera of our game. And how that's going to work. So, ooh. There we go. Um, right, like I said, the mouse moves are was that in the other video anyway the mouse moves and wherever the mouse is on the screen the camera will be or it'll move away from the player a certain radius so you can look further down the screen further up the screen to the right and to the left um yeah okay it still does work but you can go through like uh, the top half of the trees which is what i wanted right so yeah so let's uh let's look at how to do this camera so we go into room initialize, we go to views, we want to enable the use of views, this one, and we want to click visible when room starts. That's all we got to do, we don't even have to have it follow an object. We just straight up enable views, set them as soon as the room starts. And then we create our camera object. Um, open this up, let's look at it. That's, uh, that's, that's too big, I don't like that. <laughs> all right. Right, so we're creating uh, two variables, but we only want them temporary for this frame that they're allow alive. So we type the word var, put a space, and then we type our variables. We want to create two of them, so we have to separate it with a comma, and this is where you need, like, it's a fucking necessity, where you need a semicolon at the end. Otherwise, the game can, fuck it, kick the bucket and die straight right there. <coughs> right. Uh, right, so we, now that we've created those, we want this object to move towards, uh, if you're using a mouse, just type um, mouse.x and mouse.y, but because I'm using an object, I have to type obj cursor, because that's the name of my cursor, this little guy. If you want to create a cursor, then that's the only code you need. This is if you want to add an animation for when you click in the left button. So if mouse button check left, equal imaging index equals 1, else... Uh, equals zero and the reason for that is I want it purple naturally but green inverted when they click the button so that they can see that the button's being clicked right so yeah that's why I've got an object I just wanted it to look nice and uh, zero for speed so it's not moving which, which that's just setting the rotation of the well not the rotation 
Well, what's it called? It's setting something that I can't remember the, the name of at the moment. And now we're setting um, uh, some shit that I can't fucking remember why. Anyway, just type this down. Uh, if you want to increase the size of the circle, increase this number here. So, I uh, say no, I wanted it at 100. That's fucking insane. But, say no, I wanted it at 100. So then the circle that you can view from the character to the mouse is much larger. So, let's just demonstrate that right now. It, it was 64, which I find is a nice... It's a good balance. The player doesn't go too far off screen. And, uh, yeah. So that's... That's that. So now I wanted to make it a uh, fucking thousand. The, 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 the screen, I don't think, is even that big. So it's, you know. Yeah, you can go, like, as far away as you want with it. So I find 64 a good number, as will you, most likely. <laughs> so that. Um... Yeah, uh, I can't remember. Right, so X to OBJ player. So we're, set, we're getting the player's X coordinate and the length of X, well, and we're getting the minimum value between 64 or the distance to the cursor. Does that make sense? So if the number 64 is smaller than the, the distance from the player to the cursor, it will stay at 64. So that's why having it go to a thousand means that the distance that it can go is further, much further away from the player. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then, you know, just set direction at the end. If you don't, it, the camera might not move. Oh, I'll just lose some shit. And then we do the same for Y, except change all the X values. Uh, not all the X values, just, just that one there to a Y. And then this is how fast, fast, fast you want it to snap. So, you know, you, so you know you want it there damn near instantly. Just set these values to 2. Just set them to 2. And then the mouse will fucking, it's like almost instantly. That's, it's where the mouse should be. Um, if you set it at like, say, 50. Just for example, now it, it's it's gonna be slow getting there. We'll just uh, it's very slow, very dragging. Fucking, you'll be dead before you reach the end of the race. So I like sixteen because it's not snap. It's smooth and it's quick and it's just like oh yeah, oh yeah. However, do not. Set it to zero. <laughs> Do not set it to nothing. Don't get rid of that. We don't want to get rid of those divided by, and this is why. Oh, it looks fine, you might say. And, ooh, it's not doing it this time. But last time I did it, the closer I brought my mouse to the character, the more shaky it got, and it actually started tripping balls. Like, the, the screen was going nuts. Uh, it didn't know what was happening. The character, it was essentially going like that, which made me fucking, it, it made me want to be sick. So, it's always better. Have a little buffer there. Have it look smooth. We don't want any of that jumpy shit. All right. You know, and then this is where we just set the view to equal all of this shit. <laughs> so, just copy all this, really. Just, just fucking... Boof that into your doofa, and you'll have a, a nice, fucking, sexy camera. Right. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, look. look oh, oh, the camera stays within 64 pixels of the center. Holy shit. That's, that's ingenious. Whoever came up with that is a, is a god. It wasn't me. I am really trying to, trying to pro, pro, proclaim my love for the person who invented this code. Uh, like I said, I didn't create this code. I just changed the values and modified some tiny little details here and there that um, made it more unique towards what I needed it for. Like adding the cursor, changing the values, 
<coughs> yeah, just basic shit that doesn't really matter. We don't want to have it apparent. We don't want it to make solid. And make sure that when the player spawns, it spawns. Because at the moment, I've got it as its own little unique object up there. I, I don't want that. So let me just get rid of those two. Unless the mouse is persistent, it is awesome. So I can actually just objects, mouse. A persistent object, like my cursor is, uh, travels between rooms. You don't have to constantly spawn it and spawn it and spawn it. Whereas the camera isn't, because there will be some uh, rooms where we don't have a player or a cursor. So we only want it there when the player's there. Because when the player's there, we know the cursor's going to be there. Because, you know, it's persistent and we're setting it up in the first room. So we'll go here. Instance underscore create uh, x, y, or we could even just go 0, 0, obj, camera. It's a capital C. Camera. Camera. Cam camera. Yeah, if you set it to zero zero, it might jump to the cam character and like uh, give you that little bit of shock. So that's why I just go X, Y, and then it looks nice and smooth because it's the view of the room starts on the player and ends on the player. Well, depending on where the uh, the, m the mouse is at the time of that. So if I go like that. And I set the, the mouse to be in the center of the screen. Hopefully where the player will be. Ah, right. Like, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. So the camera starts on the player, but then it moves straight away to wherever the mouse is on said screen. And with this, um, right, I'll, I'll set a tree in the top left-hand corner. Why? Because I want to show you to add something. I'm just going to set a tree right by there. And then I'm going to set another one out of the map, up here. So let's click play. But I'm guessing you're saying right now, but you won't be able to see the trees. They're out of the map. But that's why you're wrong. With this camera, you can create infinitely large uh, maps. Because it, it doesn't have to follow the rules of the view system that's in built in it, it creates its own because it it creates its own camera and its own system rules that uh the game follows fair enough it, I, I don't advise creating infinitely large ones i'd like i i would, st would still recommend keeping it all contained within that original square but just know that say now you create a room oh it's it's too short fuck don't worry you have this leeway that you can go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever keep on going yeah, that's a ticket keep it going but now I want to go back to my trees because they give me some form of uh, hope that there is still life in this desolate white green planet that I'm on doesn't have grass looks like tiles fuck I really went far but here are my trees again. Yeah. And uh, just to prove that I really am going way off the map. Just going to objects, tree trunk. I'm going to slap one way up there. Just back in way up there. Just so far out of the way that my balls tingle thinking about it. So we're going up. We're going up. Oh, it wasn't as far as I, I thought it was. But yeah. That tree wasn't there earlier, but now it is, because we can go outside of the map. Like I said, I don't recommend it, but know that now it is, in fact, a possibility. So that it concludes this episode of the Top Downish Game Project, because I am so original with my naming, and I didn't know the name of Bird's Eye View. Uh, pardon me. Uh, when I <laughs> was thinking about it, so I just went, ah, it's a top-down-ish sort of game. People don't know what I mean. <laughs> and I created that. So, what have we gone through this time? We've gone through Powerwall. 
uh, collision boxes. Uh, instance create from an object to create uh, a second object on its X and Y. A camera. And colliding with stuff, which is behind. I wish I could change highlighted text. Is that a thing? You guys are going to see how you change the color of your shit. So you just file, preferences, go here, script and code. And then you go down here. And then how do you do selection color? Oh, my selection color would be black. Just to see what that looks like. What's it look like? Yeah, I'm alright with that. I like that. Oh, that looks tasty. Uh, what happens if I chose white? Ooh. Ah, oh, shit, no. <laughs> he didn't see that. I don't think there's anything there that uh, was incriminating in here. It doesn't matter. Oh, does it choose? Oh, no, it doesn't make the writing black. It just whites it out. That makes it hard to see. Selection color, blank. And what else can you change? Error line color. Again, line changed color. Line back num line number background. Mm, not that purple. What's that look like? Ah, that's that part. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's fuck about with this some more. Let's let's see what each part does. Background color. Um, um, gold. Oh, that's fucking, that's nasty. Oh, <laughs> oh is there a way to undo it? I want it back to default. Um, background color, reset. No! No, it did all of them. No! <laughs> Fuck. Right. Thank you guys for joining me. If you liked it, press the like button. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.